Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Resident Evil. We have an imitation armor key, which might get us something very cool. However, I'm a little scared. So, let's do this thing. I know that there are outstanding herbs and ribbons I can pick up. I'll get to that if I need to. For now, I'm just a little bit scared. In fact... Oh wow, after all that I remembered it wrong. <laughs> so where was the correct path? It's not on this side, apparently. Then where was it? Was it downstairs? Damn, this is tricky. Well, clearly it's not here. Don't I feel silly? I want to go to that mirror hallway. I just forgot where it was. Obviously, it's not here. See ya. And I know that it's not any of the doors coming off of this hallway, so I don't need to be here either. Don't I feel silly and a half? It might have actually been the other side of the mansion. Can't go in there at all. Huh. Yeah, alright. Maybe I'll just check the other side. How embarrassing. And I can go through both of these doors? Oh, that's just the terrace. That doesn't really make a difference. I don't know. I'll see what happens. Wow, my memory's faultier than I remember. Hooray! There we go, I'm in. Okay. Time for a scare. This was just locked. Other side. Oh, him. I don't care about him. He didn't even notice me because he's an idiot. One, two, three. Meet the Crimson Heads. That's why I've been burning bodies. The good news is that when they're dead, they're dead. That's the one zombie in the game that started out as a Crimson Head because it would guarantee, like, to trigger the fact that you, the Crimson Heads exist. That now you know. I probably could have burned him if I'd gone there first. Definitely should have. And believe me, yes, you can decapitate them like any other zombie, but they suck. Anyway. May whoever takes this emblem find peace in death. I'm gonna find peace in death, you guys. No cheating, no escaping. You gotta wait for that. Get away for that? Oh my god. It's okay, I think I can beat it. And puzzle solved. I did it, I'm a genius. I always thought that was cool, you could kind of see it back up at the last second. Now I have the armor key. Now I just need to find out which doors are the armor doors. Was this one of them? Nope. That's a helmet door. 
fine. There are lots of armor doors though, so I'll make use of uh, my key very soon. And now I can use that herbicide. I remember in the previous installments I had asked what's that plant that you use the herbicide on guarding, if not the armor key. I think I might know, actually. Memory's coming back to me a little bit. I think. You know what? It's just one. Boom. Almost everything in here is unlocked, but there is that one little nuisance, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Reflection. You saw that? Spooky spook. Okay, let's let's reset your location, buddy. Now where am I? Well actually it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm in crow hallway. Looks like he was killed by a crow or something. Can I make it to that door on the other side of this room? And is it even locked by the armor? Whoa! Ah, damn it. Get off of me, you ass. Great. That's a zombie that's honestly not really worth killing. Even if I do want revenge. Damn it. That's fine. I can head right to the supply room and grab the armor key anyway. What? Okay, here's the thing. I genuinely thought that it was okay to leave this guy dead because I thought I would have to pass over his body for him to get up. Wrong! Also, now you see how damn scary Crimson Heads are. It was only a fluke that he didn't hit me. Yeah, so this is a thing in the game now. Resident Evil 1 didn't have these. No, they did not. What the hell? Oh, I remember this. See ya, bro. Not dealing. There it is. You have to be straight up crazy to think I'm dealing with that. So let, let me know when this game's freaky, okay? Let me let me know when you start getting a little bothered by how freaky this game is. So ho 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 herbicide. It's armor key time. I have lots of doors I could open with this thing. The whole mansion's gonna open up to me. Or almost all of it. If memory serves, the shield key only opens up the door to yawn. So it's really mostly the armor and the helmet. Okay, I guess he's still upstairs. Ah, oh, that feels good. Wow, this is way darker than I remember. Okay, plant should be directly ahead of me. Oh, I can use the blue gem. You know what? I will. Just to get it out of the way. I know I'm making a back and forth trip, I'm sorry, but I would have had to do it anyway. And I will forget this, so I'm gonna just do it now. Ugh, you could just hear the zombie shuffling around upstairs. How freaky. Yeah, I, I will hold on to the shotgun. Actually, if memory serves, I might have the opportunity to get shotgun ammo really soon. I'll need a free inventory slot, of course, but that's okay. I should be able to get one of the crests from this. I forgot which one. Wind, maybe? And spooky? No. Okay. All right. 
Wow, a hallway with nothing instead of like three zombies. An inscription here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. I don't get it. Oh, shotgun shells, great. So it's not the crest. Now I have to wonder where the crest is. Also, even the ammo only gives me six. What happened to seven? Don't cheat me, Remake. This is the harder game. Because every zombie in the game I could potentially fight twice. Alright, alright. Now I need that herbicide. Good. Oh, wow. The dog keeper's room is just not locked at all. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. You're a trap. You have to be a trap. Damn it. Okay. Wow, that's creepy. That's really creepy. <laughs> oh wow in Resident Evil 1 you would go to read this but then you'd be attacked and you'd only read it afterward whatever this is a good enough entry that I'll happily read it twice May 9th 1998 played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from, Sec Elias from security and Steve from research Steve was the big winner but I think he was cheating scumbag May 10th one of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. Probably a hunter. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. May 11th. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. Scared the shit out me, out me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on, so there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. So more swearing that wasn't in the original, huh? Twelfth. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed him today. Screw him. Thirteenth. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Fourteenth. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. 16th. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? 19th. Fever gone but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. 21st. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face so killed him. Tasty. Itchy. Tasty. Kapla. Really? 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 Oh, I remember this. Remake was slightly different. Right? The, the door stopped shaking. So I could get a free out. But I kind of want shotgun ammo, so I'll investigate. There, completely avoidable. But I chose not to. Oh, damn it. Okay, I need to be quick. Damn it. And I wasted all those bullets on you, you fat, bald, freaking... Wow, so after all that, I actually had to come in here dick move. Okay, here's my plan. 
I'm going to get that key ready as quickly as humanly possible. Uh, whoops, I, I actually really need to run. I forgot how long it takes for them to turn into Crimson Heads, and I don't think every single one of them does, but I'm taking no chances. And if I never enter that room again, well, he's not going to get up and open the door and get me now, is he? So if I can just free myself up, I will be golden. Damn it. He really... Uh, I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have button mashed and used the defense item. I wasted those bullets. And I wasted the freaking hand grenade. This sucks. Alright. Let's hurry up. I don't believe I'm going to need a shotgun where I'm going. Except for that first crimson head, zombies do not start out as crimson heads. Come on, dog keeper's room. Don't mess with me. What is that freaking sound? It's creepy. Also, I don't think I got the herbicide. Also, I think I'm safe. Damn it. I need the. Uh, damn it. Clothes and bits of junk. Door stuck. Shells full of high proof liquor. There's a lot of new flavor text in this game. That was not in the original Resident Evil. But I'm, I'm really sorry. I gotta go back and get the herbicide because I suck. But I do have an old key. That's good. That freaking sound. What the hell is that? I got a zombie upstairs. Like, everything is not good. Okay. Pistol's reloaded, though. Oh, boy. I gotta find more stuff to use the armor key on. What a day, I tell ya. There, I apologize for the minor delay. And that dog keeper's room is done. That's one zombie that might turn into a crimson head that I'll just never meet, so I don't care. Now, herbicide should be straight ahead. Also, was that anything? Candlestick shines coldly in the moonlight. Guess it's nothing. God, this is creepy. Oh, you can see the zombie's shadow. That's freaking creepy. That's really creepy. You know he's coming through on the way back out. If he's not coming through now, you know he's coming through later. So instead of there being three zombies here, there's zero, but there will be at least two. Clever. Anyway, let's kill ourselves a plant. You know what? Let's get a look. Yeah, I feel confident about going toward that. I'm fine. It's fine. We're all fine here. Now. How are you? Oh, you actually see the bag go in. That's cool. And the water turns all red. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Subverting expectations. I'm not done. I have to turn it on. Pump the water. What? I forgot that's right. I think one of these was like the ceiling sprinkler or whatever. It might poison me or something. It looks like I want to follow the green, right? Where does the red go? Red goes out here. Where? Whoa, okay. All right, let's do green. Jeez. Well, is there is there like a note? Wow, I'm done. Green it is. I, uh, oh. God damn, that sucks. Wow, I, I just killed like... I, I, I just killed like five herbs. That is ass. 
Let's just hope I don't need much healing. I figured the green would go around to the plant. That sucks. Well, now you've seen what happens. That wasn't an RE1. Son of a bitch, look at this. Anyway, yep, I was right about what it was guarding, though. Death mask. Without eyes. Wow, that pisses me off. Alright. Well, the good news is unless that door past the keeper's room leads somewhere, I don't think I'll ever need to come to this hallway again. But I will have to avoid these two zombies! Oh no! Goodbye! Actually, no, it's not true. I will have to come back here for that tiger mask. Or the tiger statue. I gotta put a gem in its eye. I'll need a yellow gem, which was not in the first game. Oh, I'm in the first hallway again. Okay. Okay. There's the piano room. Wow. Wow. I haven't even met Rebecca. Where is she? I guess the first thing I'll do is get rid of my death mask, but then I need to find places to use the old key, right? When do I meet Rebecca? Or is it actually in the piano room? Maybe I just meet her in the piano room. The problem with the piano room is that I actually require... Uh, two pieces of sheet music. Technically just one, but it's torn in half. There's another door I can unlock with the armor key. I guess I'll just do that. Oh, that's right. It's helmet this time. Okay, fine. Well, anyway, death mask. Get rid of it. I do know where I can use the armor key, though. Oh, damn it. I just remembered something. That's fine. That's fine. We're all fine. Everything's good. Everything's great. Eyes. Okay. I know it's obnoxious to go down these really long stairs every time, but this is Chris. He has no freaking inventory space. Good. <laughs> Boy, if that doesn't build up tension. Anyway. I think it's time we did uh, the Richard mission. Remember, when we did the stuff with Jill, he was uh, poisoned and needed to be saved in a matter of X period of time, so I guess I'd better get on that. Also, come to think of it, it's been a little while since I've saved. I'm a little nervous, but whatever. We'll cross the bridge when I come to it. Damn, I still need the armor key. I gotta find other stuff to unlock with it, huh? Alright, scary time. I said, there it is. Oh, Rebecca's here. You. Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard. What the hell happened to you? Chris, this place... Get your team out of here. Demons... everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. Actually, come to think of it, the game's being a little lenient with me. In Resident Evil 1, if you got the armor key, 
that kind of triggers how long Richard has to live. So if you just so if you just go to Richard's room like way later, you'll find him already dead. Like you don't even have a chance. Anyway, the good news is that I know where exactly where to get the serum. The bad news is I have to go through a crimson head and a regular zombie to get it. So let's pray that I don't spawn on the zombie, and then we'll move right along, and everyone will be happy. Also, I'm sorry, I'm checking the map again. Far door. Good, if he's coming from the other side, good. Ugh, the way he lopes along like that, it's creepy. The good news is he's fast, but he's not as fast as I am. The bad news is I think they're a little... Jeez. The bad news is I think they're a little faster than you if you're limping, so... Uh... Ah, damn. I don't have time for you, you freaking idiot. That's gonna be a crimson head. <laughs> no doubt in my mind. But for now I need serum. And I also need herbs. Oh I know, there's some by that plant. Freaking damn it. Um You know what? I'll take a slight extra bit of time here. Cause I know I'm not gonna remember this until later. Oh, you know, I can carry a first aid spray with me. I do just start the game with one, so let's do that. This is the thing I knew I would forget later, so now I have it. And I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still turning around the slow way. I keep forgetting I have quick turn. I'm, I'm very much used to the PS1 game. Okay, now about that serum. I think they give you about three minutes, so I should have more than enough time. Are you- what? Damn right. This is a very important room, I'm not having that thing blocked by a freaking crimson head. Ugh. I do want one inventory slot open at all times. You see, I got this. Ooh, but on my way back, I will have to deal with that crimson head. And I think I spawn like, or he spawns like right next to me when I come out of that door. I'm not looking forward to that part. Unless... Well, yeah, no, that's an option, that's an option. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I could just avoid the zombie entirely. Yeah. Let's just avoid the zombie. Right? Why do I have to deal with him? It's a bit of a roundabout path, but there's no zombie. I like the no zombie part. Boom, did it. See that? Not bad. Look at my clever strategy. Now to save Richard. I'm such a good friend. And we're golden. How about that? I'm pretty sure I had time to spare. Boom. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. 
I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Here. Take it. There's that radio. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. <gasps> Richard. He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. What do you know? He actually lived. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with a gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? Okay. So she starts with Richard instead of where she normally starts, which is this room. Delay the inevitable. Uh, spoiler. Um, what's interesting is that normally you meet Rebecca in here, and it's... This room is equipped huh. with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? Really? That's awesome. That's probably limited, though. I'm good for now. No, I'm okay. But if something should happen to me, I'm counting on you. No problem. But we're very short on medical supplies, so take care of yourself. I can't believe that's an option that kicks ass. Wow. But normally we meet, we meet Rebecca in here in Resident Evil 1, and there's sort of a comic relief moment where, like, all, you walk into the room and you get sprayed with something. And you're like, ah, oh, what is it? And you see Rebecca like, oh no, like it was an accident. It's kind of like a silly meeting. Well, that was cool. Now I am going to uh, get myself some sheet music. Unfortunately, the sheet music is uh, right back where Richard was. It's really cool then to teleport us here if I wanted to go here, but I didn't. Oh, damn it, right. Sorry, I'm so used to going out that door. Oh my god. 